double A double A battery set up. Found a pretty nice uh, toy All this was already wound in the side of a power supply. So I just hooked it up, stuffed it in this little plastic thing, put a switch on it. And uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, starting next week, I'm just gonna cut this fuck around. Uh, Monday and just leave it on and, and see how long it lasts, see how long it runs, and then uh, maybe try to make some improvements on it or something like that. But yeah, that's pretty cool. You can look up how to make that damn near anywhere. But yeah, you know, everyone knows, everyone who's familiar with that uh, jewel thief circuit knows the principle. Basically, you're just sucking all the extra juice out of your little batteries, and this is a LED that you know wouldn't run off of a, a double-A normally, but uh, it's sort of like a, a ballast, so to speak, for this to drive this uh, extra voltage into this LED. So yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see how long that runs next week. Um, but right here, I'm good, just going to explain what's going to go down before I cut it on, because uh, the frequency is really loud. Um, Basically, I just have my regular, my other little mini CFL. I got another CFL. I think it was 13 watts. And uh, that's a lot brighter. But just together running these two and these two uh, neons. I'm not really sure what's going on here, but uh, my meter says it's drawing uh, about half an amp for all that which is kind of a lot but uh, if this is all coming out of a 5 volt 1 amp adapter uh, so the fact that it's able to kick up enough voltage to light these but still kick out half an amp is crazy to me so somewhere I can still uh, I can still be making some improvements but first I'm going to show you how bright it is um, So you see how bright that is. Not too bad. I need to work. I need to. I need to do better. Okay. But uh, what I'm going to show you is this right here. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but this is the ballast that came out of this uh, fluorescent. I just gutted it, took it out, left it the way it was, and I took each contact that would go to the fluorescent there's four contacts but uh, I just treat them as two just to wind them together and I uh, what I did was I hooked up a little disposable camera flash bulb off of a disposable camera and I hooked it up on here and I you know I got to thinking um, we can make good light out of voltage with no amps uh, and the camera flash is a good example it's just the question is how do you turn it into a quick pulse uh, sort of like a quick strobe light and uh, I've sort of managed to do that using this little ballast it's got like a 200 volt cap on it that quickly charges and releases and uh, after a few seconds it builds up it starts to flash pretty good uh, maybe someone out there can uh, improve this idea but I feel like that's a good way to make light you know as, as long as you can get the frequency high enough so you can't really tell that it's blinking uh, sort of like refresh rates on a monitor then you should have pretty good light uh, bright clean light off of something small so I'm just going to demonstrate that um, plug this thing up like that and hopefully you can see Turn it. 
Okay, so watch the flash. Watch the flash uh, over time slowly get more steady. At least I hope it will. Here we go. Oh shit, it didn't even know. Uh, tell you what, it didn't even take any time that time. But what I noticed was uh, it shot out a vicious, vicious green spark. Uh, and this spark would shoot out between the contacts and uh, and eventually die out and start sending everything into that bulb. But as you can see, this bulb is, is flashing just like it would uh, in a camera when it's taking a picture. Except it's flashing extremely fast and it's maintaining a uh, constant light. So I'm going to show it again and then cut the lights off. see my camera sucks but I basically just turned this camera flash bulb into a steady flash in the strobe light which gives off pretty good light and uh, I was still lighting my two fluorescents at the same time and I don't know if you could hear but there was also a vicious green spark that was kicking off in there that I also need to track down and take advantage of some kind of way I'm still working on that but I just wanted to show that it's my little uh, camera flash bulb light idea that hopefully other people can improve upon. Alright, thank you.